I'd be super quick <laughs> <laughs> You're good? Yep. Uh, Councillor Tony Williams, Mayor Rockhampton Regional Council. The day's finally come. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, but something there that's been eagerly awaited by myself, uh, my colleagues, my councillor colleagues, and our community. Um, what a fantastic opportunity to officially open uh, the new museum, uh, Rockhampton Museum of Art. Uh, this is something there that's really going to be a game changer for our community. Uh, for our local residents, but also for visitors to our city. Uh, what a great way to showcase our fantastic collection uh, in such a magnificent facility. Uh, this is an opportunity for uh, celebration, and I'm sure our community will uh, warmly uh, welcome it as the, as the years go on. Uh, we collect, that collection will uh, become bigger uh, as we go forward, but it's carrying on the legacy of former uh, Mayor uh, Rex Pilbeam when he first started that, uh, that collection. And for a regional community to have a, a collection of that significance uh, and now being able to display that uh, on a rotational basis throughout the year, it's something there that uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll all become accustomed to of coming and having a look at those new exhibitions as they come to hand. Any questions or okay. a hand over? Yes, look, it's a, it's, it's a milestone there, and uh, I'd like to pay uh, former Mayor uh, Margaret Strelo, uh, who whose ambition and uh, drive started that uh, ball rolling. Uh, but to deliver it here today and being the Mayor of Rockhampton Regional Council is really something there that I'm very proud of. And uh, like I said in my speech earlier, I, I stand on the shoulders of, of uh, you know, former decisions from my council colleagues uh, and the former Mayor to be able to make those announcements today uh, on behalf of our community but also the former Mayor Rex Pilbeam who, who really did start this uh, legacy off and he charged the, the, the future uh, uh, politicians and uh, local community to continue that, uh, that uh, narrative going forward and uh, what, we, what we see today is, uh, is a fruition of that dream but uh, as we move into the future. It's great having the, the, the Rumble and the First Nations people involved in uh, today's uh, opening uh, because that's at the heart of where we, where we start this uh, partnership going forward as well. So I think there's great opportunities for our local art community, our visitors to the region uh, and also our locals to experience uh, this fantastic facility. And I'd like to pay tribute to uh, the Premier and uh, both Michelle for all levels of government working together to uh, you know, fund this project and uh, I see those partnerships continuing into the future as we, we bring regional exhibitions into uh, regional Queensland, uh, not only for central Queensland but for uh, you know, the wider Queensland as people come in and, and uh, visit our city and our region and uh, experience these fantastic uh, pieces of art. But our local artists are to give them the, uh, the, the drive and the passion to be able to uh, continue their work and, and really uh, ex uh, exhibit their talents. Uh, on the walls of this fantastic facility. It, it is really something there that's near and dear to my heart as it is the like with a lot of my fellow councillors. That's right, and uh, you know we won't need to, to travel too far to, be, to go and see that. Our locals will be able to experience that on a weekly basis, and uh, that's something there that we can we can really take advantage of. And uh, as a regional centre, uh, it's great to see that investment coming from both the, the federal and the state governments to to help our locals as well. So I pay tribute to everyone that was involved in in bringing uh, this uh, facility to fruition. And I cannot forget the uh, former uh, uh, council Rose Swaddling, who also. Uh, passionate about this, uh, this uh, facility and, and her uh, space in that uh, arts and cultural area. So, uh, yeah, tribute to everyone involved. But I think now the real proof in the pudding is going to be the, our local community coming in and uh, walking through those doors and, and admiring all these fantastic um, artwork that we have on display. I think he'd be uh, quite chuffed, actually, uh, Rex, and, uh, and to see his uh, passion still continuing on uh, you know, with this collection and uh, you know, what it is today 
uh, really is a plan of the seed back in, in those early days uh, with that collection and having a look at the, the philanthropy board and, and people that have been involved through trusts and uh, you know, that, that sponsorship, uh, those donations, is something there that uh, really has flourished and will continue to grow in years to come. Uh, what we see on the walls here today is only 10% of that collection uh, behind us in, the, in storage. There's, there's plenty more artworks to go out, so uh, as they roll through over the years, uh, you'll be able to come in here on a, uh, every three months or four months and see new artworks up there, so it won't be the same thing. Uh, it'll be, be able to display that whole uh, collection that's, uh, that, that's so proud to, uh, to many people in the region. Uh, like I say, there's only 10% in the, of the uh, of that collection on on uh, display today. So uh, you know it could be three or four years before these these uh, paintings come back out again once they start to move through. But uh, I'm sure Jonathan will be able to answer those questions on the, the technical side about the uh, the rotation and that. Uh, but it's great to see that uh, you know we've got a facility here that can be uh, used to to be able to house all those collections as we go forward. Okay, I might hand over. I'll just do a few words about the art gallery and then I'll hand over to Michelle and we can do other questions at the end. Uh, but it's indeed my great honour to be here today um, with essentially all three levels of government um, to finally open this wonderful Rockhampton Museum of Art. And really the community should be absolutely proud because it was an idea that generated in the community and it took all three levels of government investing to have this state-of-the-art art gallery uh, home to an outstanding collection of Australian art, probably the best collection outside of a capital city in Australia. This is going to be great for uh, culture, but also tourism, and it is something incredibly proud, this art collection, that uh, Rockhampton locals will be able to come here and see it firsthand, but also their families and friends will be able to come here right across um, Australia. I'm very pleased that our uh, contribution was $15 million, but it's not just the story about the contribution, it's the story about how the art was acquired, but it's also the story of how hundreds of people uh, had jobs working here on this magnificent building, but also to the apprentices as well. And I really want to uh, commend uh, all of the, uh, the locals that have been involved uh, from the start to the finish, and it's been an incredible journey. But uh, behind me we have a beautiful Gabori painting but also in this art collection is uh, Arthur Boyd, Russell Drysdale, Russell Drysdale Sidney Nolan, uh, Geoffrey Smart, Margaret Olley, Fred Williams, just to name a few. This is an incredibly proud day for this uh, city. Um, I'm absolutely uh, honoured to be here. And like I said, we all work best when we work together and it's a wonderful partnership between the council, and I thank the mayor, um, the federal government as well coming on board, um, I know Minister Leanne Enoch, as Minister for Arts, is incredibly proud um, of this art gallery, but uh, also to a big thank you to um, Brittany, my Assistant Minister, and also to Barry O'Rourke, the two local members, who have really driven this project uh, every single day, uh, speaking to me, speaking to the government to ensure that when we needed the extra $5 million, we were able to get the $5 million to make sure that this art gallery was um, completed. And we're looking forward to the doors opening in uh, not too long uh, to go. And I think uh, everyone should be incredibly proud and this is an absolutely uh, historic day. Thank you, Premier. Thank you, Premier. Look, today is incredible for Rockhampton. I've lived in this area my whole life. And uh, I was saying before, my parents had a shop up the road in Williams Street. And so I know, you know these streets, this area well. This is going to revitalise the whole of Rockhampton. Um, now that this, uh, we can get through from the Art Gallery into East Street, it's just going to open up everything. I can remember the days when there was coffee shops everywhere, cafes everywhere. Let's hope it goes back to that with this beautiful um, riverfront front precinct that we have now, this magnificent Art Gallery. And uh, I encourage people to come along on the weekend. It is absolutely incredible. You walk in the door and you go, oh wow, this is amazing. Am I actually in Rockhampton? Because it's um, just something that, you know, it feels like you're walking into an art gallery in a capital city. So uh, I'm very pleased that the three levels of government could contribute to this. And I think it's um, really important that, you know, we support regional Australia, regional Queensland in particular. And, um, you know, this is a credit to everyone. So congratulations to everyone involved. Thank you.
Well, thank you very much, Mayor and uh, Premier and Michelle. Uh, as we, as we emerge from the pandemic and, of course, as we put our eye to the journey towards 2032 in the Olympic and Paralympic Games, the arts plays an incredibly important part in telling our story but also expressing our cultural identity as Queenslanders, our unique cultural identity. And so today, with the opening of this Museum of Art, uh, it really cements uh, regional Queensland and, in particular, Rockhampton as playing a major role in defining Queensland's cultural identity to the rest of the world. So it's a lot to be proud of. I think the $15 million uh, that the Palaszczuk government has contributed to this particular project is a real testament to our commitment to the arts and our ability, our commitment to our ability to tell the story of Queensland uh, and to express that cultural identity, that unique cultural identity of being a Queenslander. So congratulations to the Mayor and all the team here. It is truly a fantastic achievement to have the doors open today. Uh, but when you look at the kind of art you're going to see on the walls here, uh, you'll not see this collection of art anywhere else in Australia. Uh, it is uniquely Rockhampton in terms of what is on offer. So get down here, have a look at it. I encourage all Queenslanders to come and visit here in Rockhampton to see this fantastic uh, museum. It's an absolute testament to the great work of so many. Well, good morning. This building is absolutely amazing. And I just want to thank the Rockhampton Regional Council for their work in this space, but also all the contractors that have been involved in designing such an amazing building and I, I encourage people in Rockhampton come down and have a look it's amazing there is just so much to see uh, and you know into the future I'm really hoping that people will come and visit the tourism spin-off and go back and revitalize our East Street you know people being down there shopping and things like that this is so important for the Rockhampton community but it's also really important for our small businesses you know come and visit have a look and encourage your family to come, come and visit CQ. It's a wonderful spot and I'm so proud of what we've achieved here in Rockhampton with this gallery. Good morning everyone. I'll be brief. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, this is Rocky. We love our bee. We love our sport and this gallery shows that sometimes we can be a bit fancy. <laughs> well, uh, Thanks, uh, Well, look, I just wanted to recognise all the support that uh, state and federal governments have provided, but I do particularly want to pay tribute to the Rockhampton Regional Council. Uh, this would not have been built but for the support of the local representatives and their persistence. I remember many conversations with uh, Mayor, former Mayor Strillo where she pushed and pushed and pushed, and uh, it's a testament to her hard work, to uh, former councillor Rose Swaddling's work, and to, to you too, Tony, and your whole team. So congratulations. Um, I, I, I want to encourage every person in central Queensland to come and visit this gallery because it will make you proud of central Queensland. Uh, and when we're proud of our town, proud of our region, uh, people are going to stay here, they're going to invest here, and this is so good for our entire region. So please get down here and see it. Uh, it is almost too, it's a, you won't believe it until you see it. Uh, and finally, I, I also want to um, point out, I think this is a proud day for our nation as well. The artists that the Premier mentioned before, Sidney Nolan and Russell Drysdale, they, these, are, these are nationally, internationally significant artists housed here in Rockhampton. This is not just a regional art gallery, it is an art gallery for our nation to be proud of and it is right and proper that these artists, these Australian artists, are on display for all Australians. So I hope lots of Australians come and visit this gallery too. Thanks and congratulations to all of those who have been involved in this. Any federal questions? Federal questions? Federal or state? Oh, state. state. Yeah, This is actually setting up regional Queensland for the future and the whole state will be sharing in the Olympic pride and the Olympic spirit and it just goes to show you that some of the best collections don't have to be in our capital cities. What you have here is essentially mini Goma. 
it's the same designers who actually design Goma are here. You've got, um, like you know, Matt reinforced as well. International art collections is is actually housed here. Bought bought back in uh, the Gough Whitlam times for about five hundred thousand dollars, worth over fourteen million dollars now. And the story, it should be a movie. I mean, this story about the Archbishop and the former mayor travelling around the state, knocking on artist doors in the dead of the night, saying we're here to take some of your art and uh, get funding from the federal government and bringing it all back to Rockhampton. Rockhampton is incredibly lucky and now Rockhampton gets to showcase this art to the world. Okay, any other quick questions? Um, we're standing near the art Uh, my understanding is, and the Mayor might be able to correct me, but I think the Mayor actually went down and actually had a conversation with the Deputy Premier about some of those issues the other day, but we think it's very important to have a smart hub here in, in Rockhampton. Yeah. So we'll be looking at the I think the Deputy Premier is having a look at it, yep. yep. Yeah, thank you very much. And as I said very clearly, that the matter was referred to the Economics and Governance Committee, and they are considering that matter. And I can't comment because it's in committee. Ah, uh, what I say? There's a big poll coming up, and that's called the federal election. Um, so my federal colleagues over here, are obviously, looking forward to that. Uh, but what I can say is, look, I get up every day, and I work the best that I possibly can for the people of this great state. The last two years has been incredibly tough on Queenslanders and we've got through the worst of the pandemic. I'm incredibly proud that we have record unemployment rates in this state. I mean, who would have thought we'd be at 4.4 per cent, the lowest since you know 2008. Uh, this is incredible. We are creating more jobs than anywhere else in the nation. And here we are standing in an opening of a beautiful art gallery where we've had apprentices and locals employ creating jobs in central Queensland. So that's my job and uh, you know out, I'm out and about talking to Queenslanders each and every day and you know I didn't I never take their trust for granted and what you see is what you get and I'm going to continue to work for them um, you know each day. Uh, we addressed those issues uh, the other day and uh, we've made it uh, very clear that there is a review that's happening at the moment of the um, uh, public service and I look forward to seeing those reports. Have seen I just missed the first part of your question. You could repeat. Oh, okay. Um, uh, look, I'm happy to find out from the Health Minister about that, but we know how important um, health services are to this region. Uh, that's why we've been putting money into expanding the hospital, and we are absolutely determined to make sure that families get the best possible health care. So happy to ask the Health Minister to look into that in more detail. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Thanks everyone. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the gallery.